This is eight, nine, and we're given the equation, we're given the equation here, and it's an RLC circuit. So how do we solve this problem? Well, we're given the initial conditions that we know the current at time zero is 10 amps, and the first derivative, di dt, at time zero is also zero. So we're finding i of t for t is greater than zero. So take a look at this. We need to calculate several things. So if you remember in these equations, let's just say that this is the, the current here in a uh, RLC circuit that's in series. Remember what these values represent. So this value here is equal to R over L, R divided by L. And this value here is equal to one over L times C, one over time L times C. So let's go ahead and then calculate our, our resonant frequency in alpha. Well, alpha comes out to be, alpha is equal to R over two L, so if this is R over L, then we would just need to divide this by two and that is equal to five. And then our omega naught is equal to one divided by the square root of L times C. Okay. Well, if we know one over LC, is equal to 25, okay? Then one over the square root of LC should be equal to one divided by the square root of, uh, I'm sorry, that should be the square root of 25, which is equal to five. So in this case, we have a situation where alpha is equal to omega naught. And remember that this means it is critically damped, critically damped. So we get an equation, equation for a critically damped system. So we have I of T is equal to a2 plus A1, or depending on how you want to do it, A1 plus A2 times T, E to the negative alpha times T. Okay, so this is our equation. And we know alpha here, we just calculated that is five. So this equation is A1 plus A2 times T e to the negative 5t. Okay, so we have this form of the equation, and now we just need to solve for a1 and a2. So we know several things. We know i of zero is 10a, 10 amps. So let's plug in zero to this equation. So i of zero is equal to a1 plus a2 times zero, e to the negative, uh, what well, just comes out to be zero. So this value is one, e to the zero is equal to one. And then we just come out, i zero is equal to a one, which is equal to 10. So we have 10 there, 10. Now, so that's one value that we have. And now we need, we know di d, dt at time zero is zero. Okay, so let's start with this and we're gonna go di dt and we're gonna take the derivative of this, this equation here. So if we take the derivative of this equation, um, we get the, so we have A1 times alpha times 
e to the negative alpha t plus uh, derivative of the first is a2 times the second alpha t plus the derivative of the second times the first which is a2t oh i forgot a negative here so there's this should be a negative and then a negative here e to the negative alpha times t now if we do this um, and plug in zero, so we're gonna plug in zero for t. So this is zero, and this value would be zero, and this is zero. I believe what we get here is di zero dt is equal to negative a1 alpha plus uh a2 and we know alpha is 5 and a1 we just got as 10 so here we have that is equal to negative 50 plus a2 is equal to this value which is given in the problem which is 0 so doing that, we come out with A2 is equal to a positive 50. So putting this all together, our equation for the current is 10 e to the negative 5t plus 50t times e to the negative 5t. And that is our solution to this problem.